you can play your Switch just from here, but you can also connect it up to your TV. In order to connect it up to your TV, you guys have this right here, which makes things very, very easy. On the back, we're gonna see, if you open this up, you're gonna see your HDMI out, USB, and AC adapter. Your AC adapter is this that came with your Wii. So that's to charge your Wii, and you do need it connected in order to work. So we do need to hook this up here. So we're just gonna plug that in, and then your HDMI cables. These are the HDMI cables that came with your Wii. We're gonna use these. So, same thing, we're just gonna plug this in right here. We can just put them through here, lock this up, and we're set to go. Right now, we can just plug this into your TV or your monitor. Just make sure to select the correct source once you plug it in to your TV. And this, we do need to plug it in to your outlet. Now, in order to turn on our Nintendo Switch, you see this button right here on the top left-hand side of your Nintendo Switch? That's what you guys have to press down and hold down until it turns on. So here's the TV that I'm gonna plug it into. So here's the cable that I got from my Nintendo Switch. I'm just gonna plug it into the back and just keep in mind which HDMI port you're putting in. You might have a lot of HDMI ports, so it might be source one, source two, source three, source four. Just make sure you select the right one on your TV or your monitor so this works properly. So at this point, we're just gonna place our Nintendo Switch right in here. Just slide it in and then we're gonna turn on our monitor or your TV. At this point, we should see a light on the bottom. Okay, so just make sure that's on. Your Nintendo Switch should be turning on at this point and we should see a graphic on your TV or your monitor. So this is perfectly fine. It should tell you exactly to do that. So we're gonna take it out. So here it is, it's out. And we're gonna place the Joy-Cons on the sides. So right now that we turned on our Nintendo Switch, we just have to place these in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now they should be this way, the money sign on this side. We're just gonna slide that in. And we're gonna slide this one in on the other side. Once we have done so, it's gonna take us to the next step in our setup. At this point, we should see this. So we can select any language you like. I'm just gonna go for English, same thing. You guys can pick whichever makes sense to you. In this case, Americas. We're gonna accept, tap on OK, next. And it's gonna search for any Wi-Fi networks. So make sure your Wi-Fi is working properly and just select whichever makes sense to you. You will obviously get a different list than me. So in this case, I'm gonna pick this right here and pick my password. Once you put in your password, just select OK and it's gonna connect up to your internet. This is the most important part about your entire configuration. So just make sure to be close to your router. Once that's done, just tap on OK. And from here, just select whichever makes sense to your location. In this case, we're just gonna select New York. And from here, finally, we can just hook this up to our TV. Of course, we can just select later, but I suggest doing that already to have your Switch ready to run. So at this point in time, we're gonna set up your Nintendo Switch with your TV. So let's just go into Connect TV. We do have to release these. So on the back, we're just gonna press that button and slide them out. I'm gonna slide this one out as well. And we're just gonna place this on our TV. And just make sure to always have this one in your left hand and then this one on your right hand. Just gonna click Next for now. And it's gonna take you through the whole setup. I'm gonna go Next. We did this already, gonna go next. And we did this already. Next. Right now it's time to actually place this on your adapter. So we're gonna go ahead and place our switch this way. Just make sure the screen's facing you. And then have your monitor turned on into the correct HDMI port and it should appear right away on your TV. Also note that this light on the bottom left hand side should be turned on. So at this point we can no longer touch the screen of our Nintendo Switch. So it's all about your joysticks. Right now just press A because we can't see the screen. So we're gonna go success A again on your controller. User will be added to your console. Perfect. So let's just tap on A again. And if you had a Switch from before, we can always import any data from any other console. However, 
assuming you're brand new into Nintendo Switch, we're just gonna create a new user. So again, A. Now you guys can pick any of these by just using this to scroll through and select whichever makes sense to you or just select the first one. In this case, I'm just gonna choose Mario because that's my favorite character. So let's go. I'm gonna type in our nickname. So in order to type in your nickname, just select whichever letters. You can scroll through with this. Select by pressing A or you can also erase by pressing B and then just keep going and fill this up. Once you're done filling up your name, just go on to OK, press A, and here we go. Tech Design, add it, perfect, OK again. Link a Nintendo account. Well, we don't have a Nintendo account. Press A on it and it's going to prepare this. So at this point, we can always sign in using email address or sign in ID. So just input your email address. So in order to select the second option, just use this one and scroll down and you guys can choose the second option if you like. So we're going to select the last option. So create a new account. We just scroll down with this. And again, we're just going to press A with our other controller. We can press A and we can just select this. Send account creation instructions via email. So we're going to send that to your email. So we're going to go ahead and select yes. Go ahead and just type in your email and then send email. Now, just in case you don't want to go through that, we can always go back, so press B to go back, back again with B, and we can always sign in using Facebook, Google, or just sign in using your email. So in this case, I'm gonna show you the other option, which is using Google, Facebook, and all that, which makes it a little bit easier. So we're gonna go into that, and all we have to do is scan that QR code. Now that can be done with your phone or your tablet, whatever you guys have. In order to scan that QR code, again, just run your camera app from your phone or your tablet. So right now I can just do this. As long as you run your camera, it's going to ask you this. Do you want to open that up? I'm going to open that up in Safari. And at this point, we're going to create a Nintendo account. So in order to create a Nintendo account, we can always go ahead and create a Nintendo account from down here below, or we can go into sign in with Facebook, Google, or Twitter. Just in case if you were chosen to get an email from Nintendo in order to activate your account, then it would have been the same thing. It would have taken you up to this page. And from this page, you would have to create your account. For now, just to keep things simple, we're just gonna sign in with Google. From here, you're gonna see this. So just select the account that you want. So it's the first one for me. From there, it's gonna take me to this page where I have to put in all my information, nickname, email address. Most likely it's gonna be already in there because you selected your Google account and just fill all this up. Once we're done so, we're gonna press continue on the bottom. So just make sure to fill everything out. Once you fill that out, it's gonna take you to the next page, which is this. You can receive emails if you like from Nintendo with promotions and stuff like that information, or you can just put no. So it depends what you guys like. So I'm gonna go ahead and receive emails, confirm and register. So at this point in time, a code should have been sent to your email. So go right into your email and put that code right in there. Make sure to check your spam mail just in case that e particular email went into that spam folder or your junk folder. So the code that you would have got would be something like this. And this is the code that I got. Your code would be much, much different. So go ahead, copy and paste that code into here and verify. From there, it's gonna take you to this page where all we have to do is just click on OK if everything's correct and we're gonna go ahead and sign in. So select this account, and we're gonna see this verification code. Obviously, your verification code is gonna be different. So we will have to type this in to our Nintendo Switch right now. So back on our TV, we're gonna see this, and that's where you have to put in the code that I just showed you. So in order to do that, just click right here with your controllers, okay? Click A on it, and you're gonna get these options. From here, just move with your joystick, this joystick right here, and just select the number that makes sense to you. For you, it's gonna be a different code. If you use this, it will not work for you. Go all the way to the side, press okay. And then it should take us to this right here. So this is the linking part, one of the most important parts about the setup with right here, your switch. We're gonna go ahead and select, this time using this joystick to the right. Select A to link it up and there we go. Right now it's gonna link your Nintendo Switch with that account. At this point we should see this screen, we can just press Okay, we can add other users into this. So we can have a lot of people that can play on our Switch and not using our own account. 
this is the time to do it. Of course, we can do this again in settings later on if you change your mind. For now, we're just gonna skip it. We're gonna assume that this is for you and you only. At this point, you might see this. Um, I would get it myself. However, most of you who got a bundle, you can activate this actually and get three months for free. So we will do that later on. So we're just gonna go into next parental controls. If you're a parent, this is the time to do this. Set up all your parental controls. We can also do this later on. So we can check out Nintendo Switch for now. And then later on in settings, change this up. For now, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Select skip and our setup is all complete. At this point in time, it's telling you to press this key on your control. So we're gonna do that. And we can get started by inserting a game card onto our Nintendo Switch, which would be on the top of your Nintendo Switch, which I showed you already. However, if you would like to download any games, I'm gonna show you that right now in the next step. However, for now, we're actually done with the setup. We're just gonna proceed with more stuff like downloading games and so on during this whole thing. Now I'm gonna show you how to redeem these two things. This game right here that we got for free, plus your three months. With your three months, you do have to scratch down here in order to get the code. So scratch that up and get that code first. And then for your game, it's actually even easier. On the back of that paper, you're gonna see again, scratch. So just scratch that out and we're gonna redeem this in our Nintendo store. So we're gonna go ahead and do that Nintendo eShop. So it does tell you the instructions down here. However, I'm gonna show you that right now. So right now we're gonna activate our online account, which is our three month membership that we get for free at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to our Nintendo eShop. We're gonna press A on it. We're gonna select our account, which is Tech and Design in this case. We're gonna let this load in. And remember to scratch the back of your card where you're gonna see the code that you need to activate this. So right now we do have an update required, so we're just gonna go OK. In order to update our Nintendo Switch, we can just go all the way to the right. Our second last thing will be system settings. Under system settings, we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down. Under system, then scroll to the right. You're gonna see system update. Go ahead, press A on it. Prepare to update system. We're gonna press update. Okay, right now, and we're gonna let it update. So right now our update is done. You should just restart. It just takes a couple minutes, one or two minutes, and that's it. We're just gonna press A to start, and here we go. So we do have online. So let's just scroll down for now, and we're gonna select our eShop. Let's just go right into our eShop. We're gonna select tech and design. So at this point, it's very important. If you guys want to put in your passcode every single time you come into the eShop, go ahead and enter it in, or just skip the password, which is what I suggest doing. So we're gonna go ahead, press A skip password. So it will ask you for your passcode, but this is the first time it's gonna and last time it's gonna ask you for your password. It's not gonna ask you again and again every single time you sign in. This is the first time we're signing in and that's why it's asking us. Other than that, you shouldn't have to. Once you put that in, it's gonna load into your account and right now we can go ahead and enter any codes that we have. So on the bottom, just go all the way to the bottom. We're gonna enter our code. So we're gonna go ahead and enter our code that we just got. So again, just press A on here, and we're gonna start typing up our code. Once you type in our code, we're just gonna press OK. By the way, if you guys try this code, it's not gonna work <laughs> if you're watching this. Type in your own code. We're gonna go ahead and put in whatever makes sense to you. So I'm gonna scroll down, pick Ontario, select OK. I'm gonna save this. I've been registered. So you do have to cancel this before the three months are up if you don't want to keep online with Nintendo eShop. So right now we're gonna select our credit card or PayPal or available funds. If you scroll down, you're also gonna see that you do have three months membership, that's free. Why is it asking you for your credit card PayPal? Well, it wants to charge you if you go over those three months. So if you go on to your fourth, fifth month, it's gonna charge you for those months. But right now it's not gonna charge you a penny. Just make sure if you don't want to pay anything, cancel it before. At this point, the easiest thing for me to do is just go through PayPal. So I'm gonna select PayPal and I'm gonna select send email. So right now we should have an email in our computer or your tablet or your iPhone, whichever phone you guys have. Just check that email. We're just gonna press okay for now. And the next step will take up on our email and through that we're gonna sync up our PayPal right now with our Nintendo Switch. All right, so a new email, we should have got an email from Nintendo that says something like this. Okay, let me just zoom in a little bit for you guys. 
So all we have to do is tap on this link. It's from Nintendo. Just go into it. Once you click there, it's gonna take you to this page where you guys have to sign in with your Nintendo account. It also might ask you this, so just verify. I'm gonna choose tractors. And from here, we're gonna sync up our PayPal account. So all we have to do is just press this button where it says link a PayPal account. At this point, it's gonna take us here. So just sign in using your email and your password, and then just press login. After you log into your PayPal, it's gonna ask you about the payment method, just choose whatever makes sense, and then it's gonna take you back to this page where you just have to re-enter your password for your Nintendo account. Once you do that, you will see this, where it's gonna say account linked. So at this point, you are linked, your PayPal plus your Nintendo. At this point, we can close this up and we can just go back into our Nintendo Switch. So finally, we can get back onto our Nintendo Switch, which should still be here. So let's just go into our PayPal and we're gonna select A. Yes, skip password, don't want to do that. So at this point, we should see this screen once we signed in, but just cancel it before those three months are up if you don't wanna pay more than what you are planning to pay. And down here, we're gonna see redeem, just select redeem. And here's our deadline to cancel our automatic renewal. Scroll down and you're gonna see a bunch of special offers right now, which are really great. So we can download a lot of stuff on Nintendo Switch at this point in time under special offers. We don't have to, we can just skip this out for now and come back to it later on. At this point, we're just gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna continue shopping. At this point, we're done redeeming that so we can always go back home, however, in order to redeem a game, if you guys have the code, just go right into your Nintendo eShop, select your user, and from there, you just want to scroll down and put in our code. So let's just scroll all the way down, enter code, and we're gonna enter our game code. So again, my code will not work on you because it's been redeemed. Put in your own code, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Once you put in the code for your game, just select okay, and we're gonna be able to redeem this right now. So just press on redeem and we're done. We're done redeeming. So we can just close this right now. And at this point we should see Mario at this point, which is the game that we're downloading. And we just redeemed downloading at this point in time right here. How long will this take? Well, it depends on your internet speed and the servers. So this could take a couple hours, a couple minutes for some people. It all depends. It's going at a decent speed for me, so it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. However, again, this could take a lot longer. If you would like to download any games right here on Nintendo Switch, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is just go into our Nintendo eShop. We can go right into there, select our user, we're gonna log in and get started. So if you scroll down, you're gonna see best sellers, great deals, and so on. I'm just gonna go into great deals just to show you a little bit. Now all these should pop up. And there's a lot of stuff on special, so that's why I wanna show you great deals first. However, let's just keep scrolling down. And if you go all the way down to Nintendo Switch Online, we should see this. Just scroll to the right. Now we do have a membership already, so we can download these for free. And we're gonna get started. So let's get started downloading the first one, which is here. I'm gonna click on it. As long as you press A on it, we can just download this for free. So we're gonna go ahead, press download for free, download for free, and then we're gonna close this. So that's just one of the games that we can download for free. I'm gonna show you others later on. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.